Welcome to Magic Hour. I am your host, Paul Chapel, And I'm still in my pajamas, guys. But I'm on Twitch. It doesn't matter, right? I'm screaming. I can scream in my pajamas. As you can see here, got my newest addition to the family. This is Duchess. She's a Siberian Husky. And you wouldn't believe it, but three weeks ago when we bought her, she was like twi she was like less than half this size. Is that the, the right way to say it? Uh, yeah, she she's grown really fast. And, and as you can see down here, this is my other husky. We got her. Well, well, well basically, let me let me back up a little bit. My daughter loves to get animals. Now. For several years, we've had cats. Cats are fine. We had four cats at one point. One of them actually disappeared. She was outside cat. She just didn't come home. We don't. We still don't know what happened to her. Um, but I have three. I have two house cats, and one cat is kind of a house cat and an outdoors cat. Point is, cats take care of themselves. And I understand the way my daughter operates. She's basically great with an animal as long as they're a kitten or a puppy. Once they grow up, she kind of gets bored with them. And we have to move on to, to another kitten. And guess who ends up taking care of them? That's right, me. And my other dog... <laughs> Azul is down here. He wants to be on camera so bad, don't you, boy? Anyway, cut to three weeks ago. Uh, my other Siberian Husky that I did not want, I told my daughter right out, no, we're not getting a dog. I know how this is going down. I do not want to be taking care of a bunch of cats and a dog. And it was kind of like one of those comedy movies where... Uh, the character is saying, absolutely not. We're not doing that. And then you cut to the next scene and the dog is running through the house, knocking over stuff. And the, and, and the protagonist of the story, me, is sitting there watching television with glazed eyes as the dog just tears through all his stuff. But anyway, that, that's essentially what happened. We, <laughs> I went from saying absolutely not to just one day there just being this big ass dog in the house who grow, grows so rapidly, it's ridiculous how how, how fast they grow. Um, I I, I uh, weighed her like I think I weighed her like two weeks ago. She weighed thirteen pounds. A week later, she weighed fourteen pounds. And I guarantee you, if I weighed her today, she'd probably be about sixteen pounds, probably easily. Uh, we're starting to limit to what she. <laughs> To what she's been eating, but I bought well, I, I bought I bought this second. One. My daughter bought the our first husky, um, Azul over here, as you can see, he's playing with one of our cats. Um, I bought the second one when I denied her the first one, or or, or was trying to deny her the first one. I went ahead and bought a second one. One I actually like dogs. I discovered, but dogs don't take care of themselves. They will poop on your rug. They will pee in your house if you don't let them outside. And see how it works. So I was like, as soon as I haven't been working lately because I have a back injury, but I was telling my daughter, as soon as I go back to work, who's going to be t taking these dogs on walks? But, but the, the point is, I bought this second one because it was readily apparent to me. I'm gonna go ahead and put her. I'm gonna put her out in the room so she don't pee in my studio, and she's getting a little restless. All right, so you two. Anyway, to get back to my story here, I came to the realization that Azul needed a, a companion because he would follow me 24-7. I would go upstairs, he would follow me. I would sit down in my studio. He would be right there at my feet. I didn't even know he came in the room. He'd be at my feet. Um, 
I would be watching television. He'd be in my feet. He'd be, and he'd be constantly bothering me to take him for a walk. He'd be barking while I'm trying to watch whatever I was reviewing that week or, or was going to review. And I got all this stuff on me now, here and whatnot. Point is, I said, I had watched some programs about dogs. And that dog whisperer guy said that dogs need other dogs. They need companionship more than cats. Because we have three cats right now. And, you know, they hang out together. They fight each other. When it's too cold in the house, sometimes I'll, I'll crank up the AC when I'm doing a show. And they'll curl up in the little balls with each other against the cold. Dogs need the same thing. Every every animal on this planet, I think, needs companionship, including humans. So I went ahead and bought this second Siberian Husky. And boy, I've learned a lot in a short time about dogs. Here's the main story I'm getting to. Now, she was coming to my studio for a while, I'm talking about Duchess, the new Siberian Husky. She was coming into to the room, and I was not supervising her until one day I saw her starting to squat while I was sitting here over here at the computer, and I knew the pee was about to drop. So I grabbed her up so quick. My reflexes were so quick because this is my studio. I've worked hard on this freaking studio. And I'm like, no, you're not peeing. You are not peeing in my studio. So, since then, I haven't allowed her in here because she has certain areas of the house she, where she, she wants to pee. And this is not be one of them. Once you start letting them pee and poop somewhere, they're going to continue to choose that area. Thing is, she had been doing some stuff in my stereo, uh, to, in my studio. That I didn't realize. I, now let me give you an idea how how I shoot some of my reviews. So I'm, I don't use a script. I will have uh, notes, but usually even with notes, it takes me something like three takes to get a really good uh, review going, get my rhythm going. Sometimes. Uh, so, every once in a while, though, I'll, I'll do a review and I'll get it first take. I'll just kill it first take, right? So, I was doing a review. I forget what it was. What was it? I think it was The Mandalorian um, or something. I did that first take and it was spotless. It was, oh, it was so great. I nailed it first first take. I mean, I edit all my reviews anyway, but this it felt like this review I wouldn't even have to do that much editing. It was it, it, the take was so great. So I loaded up all the video into Final Cut Pro. Loaded in the audio, started listening to the audio, and the audio was horrible. And it sounded like the audio was coming from my second mic, the one I usually reserve for uh, a guest over here. Uh, you can see it right there. It sounded like the audio was coming from, from that mic. And I, I checked my feeds because usually they're the same mic. So they'll, they'll show up as the road mic. There'll be two with the identical um, designation. And usually... I will pick the first one when I set it up in, in in my audio program. I'll choose the first one, knowing that that's the, this camera right here. When I set up my audio that day, though, I, and I remember this distinctly, there was only one mic showing up. I didn't think anything of it. I just clicked on that mic and w went to work. Turns out, this mic was not working. Why? Because Little Duchess. Little Duchess had chewed on the wire under the desk. And as a result, that mic 
had cut out. I think it was still getting the light. The little there's a little blue light um, that will show when your mic is hooked up, and I better check that now. Yeah, it's it's on. So uh, that lets you know that the mic is working. And I think that that light was still on, but because she had chewed through that cable, that mic was not transmitting. But I set up my audio thinking that it was working because I, I did see an input, but I don't know why I didn't. It didn't occur to me why is why isn't both mics showing up here? So as a result, that first take, that perfect take that I did. Was gone forever. And I did two more takes and they both sucked. So there's a Mandalorian recap I did that that if you watched and thought, wow, he, he kind of looked out for his game. It was because I was so frustrated at losing that first take because of that little demon Duchess, which which I decided to buy, by the way. Just so the other dog that I told my daughter she couldn't have would have some companionship. So that's my little dog story. I thought it was kind of cute. I don't know. You might think it was stupid, but whatever. It's my show. I want to encourage anybody out there to like, subscribe, um, ring the bell. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe if you're on Twitch and you just stumbled across it. I will be... You on Twitch a lot more because I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it.